We woke up at 9am. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. We ate breakfast, packed our things, and at 11am we were ready to go. We set off in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. We cooked and ate dinner and now we are resting. Half of the group is looking at some maps, the rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. It is still a bit too cold. My hands are shaking, but finally my thoughts are much brighter than yesterday. No creepiness in them whatsoever. There's a long way ahead of us, but the only thing I can feel is excitement. It seems as if the forest is calling us. That beautiful, magical, dark forest. wind at our back. We arranged with the locals. The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m. we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started.
Finally, we made it to the pass. Thank God, we made it. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder, but when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be, or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look, but it looked like something was sticking out, or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn, cut or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. going on with reality. I'm writing with my own blood on a tree, my own name, and time. No, not mine. His. The sun is just starting to set. Orange mist. Orange mist all around. I, I see their bodies coming out of the woods. I hear a scream, a horrific scream of terror. Is that my voice? I think it is. Where's Anton? Where did he come from? How did he get in? The sun is just starting to set. He's in me. He's in my head. He's coming in through my eyes. The eyes are windows to the soul. He has no soul. Where is Anton? I am dropping in a bottomless abyss, falling into the past. Dead and rotting hands are catching me on my way down. I can feel them whisper into my ear. Now you are ours. You will never leave us. I'm calling him. I'm calling Anton. Where is Anton? I don't know. I see nothing. My eyes are overflowing with blood. I have to escape. I have to run away. I have to start running.
His image, but not alike. A servant, obedient to one master. My body is a shell, and I am ready to absorb him. Now I see the plan. I see the magnitude of devastation. The Creator summons me, and I want to be his food. I am humming his tune. I am looking at the world through his eyes. I drink the blood of his enemies and taste the rotting bodies. I feel the sin sprouting under my skin. I hear screams in my head. I hear them calling me. I hear the calling of the ones that through him have already found their eternal shelter. Free them, my lord. Free them and take me instead. Fulfill your revenge at the hour of my death. An army of angels comes out from the orange light. Their song is made of one powerful... 